You know that the Quran is divided into 30 ajza, 30 parts. And every juz is divided into two hizb. They call it two hizb. Uh, and, and this, of course, did not happen in the lifetime of Rasulullah nor in the lifetime of the companions. This came way after in the time of Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf. Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf was an oppressive ruler upon the Muslims and he ruled over Iraq, uh, Iraq during the, uh, the Khilafah of Abdul Malik ibn Marwan. But this person was very oppressive. Anyway, he had love and appreciation for the Qur'an. And it is at his time that the Qur'an was divided into 30 juz' and every juz' was divided into two hizb. Right? Okay. So overall, we have 30 parts, 30 juz' and we have 60 hizb. You know why they did this? Do you know why? Do you know why there's 30 juz' Uh, and, and this, yani, firstly, just let me answer this. Is this action that Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf did and that happened at his time, is it a bid'ah? Do we call it an innovation since Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa did not do it? No, we do not label it as a bid'ah. Why? Because the entire ummah accepted it. And if the entire ummah accepts something, then that thing must be correct. It is inspiration from Allah Azza wa Jal to a person to do such a thing, especially when it comes to the Quran. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He says, "لا يأتيه الباطل من بين يديه ولا من خلفه." Allah Azza wa Jal says, "No falsehood can come near this Quran whatsoever." So since the Quran has been divided into thirty parts and it's marked in the Quran, and Allah Azza wa Jal allowed that to happen then this is from the good things that had happened to the Qur'an and we do not label it as a bid'ah. Allah Azza wa Jalla says, inna nahnu nazzalna dhikr wa inna lahu lahafidhun that we revealed the Qur'an and we will protect it. And so since dividing the Qur'an into 30 parts is still in the Qur'an today and the entire ummah has agreed and accepted it, then this is part of Allah Azza wa Jalla's preservation for the Qur'an and once again we do not label it as an innovation. Okay, why was the Qur'an made into 30 parts? Listen, the Qur'an was divided into 30 juz' because the believer is supposed to read the Qur'an at least once a month. One juz' for every day, that's 30 days, that makes a month. And then the Qur'an was divided, every juz' was divided into two parts. So you can read one part, one hizb in the day and another hizb at night. A hizb makes up 10 pages, 10 pages in the Medina Mus'haf. And a juz' obviously now makes 20 pages. So you read 10 in the morning, 10 at night, you do that for 30 days, and you have read 60 hizb, which equals to 30 juz'. This is the minimum relationship a believer has to have with the Qur'an. Now, this is the minimum, at least once a month. Otherwise, the Sahaba used to read the Qur'an once every seven days. They used to start Friday and they used to finish it the next Friday. And that's how their recitation of the Qur'an was. Look where we are, my brothers and sisters in Islam. We're really far from that. I'm not telling you to get to that. I'm telling you, start, start, start now. Otherwise, the Qur'an would be a cause of great, great regret for you on the Day of Judgment. Yalla, my brothers and sisters in Islam, get up and do something productive in your life. Start with the Qur'an if you're confused on what to start with. And bi ta'ala, the Qur'an will open up the many doors that have been closed in your life. bi ta'ala, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He enable us and gives us the strength and the ability that we are able to read this Qur'an, memorize this Qur'an, implement the commands in this Qur'an.